Good morning, everybody. It's Jennifer. How's everybody doing today on this relatively mild Wednesday morning? Um, I'm going to step out of the shop for a second because I want to grab the looks I'm going to do today. Just give me a second here. Grab some of this. I'm going to go with a... Uh, I don't know how you want to call it. I think I'm going to go with a bold lip today and a, and a simple eye. Um, I probably should have grabbed my stuff before I hit the live button, but that's okay, right? I'm going to talk about uh, self-care a little bit because I'm in the need of a little bit of self-care for myself. Hey, Laura. I see you on, sweetie. How are you? It's early where you are, huh? Let me see if I need anything else. Where is it? Here it is. A little unprepared. You called me homie, honey. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm getting ready for work too. I, I'm taking a, a morning for myself a little bit. Um, almost all set here. I wanted to make sure the bed was made first before I uh, before I went live. So that was more important for me than, than grabbing my supplies, I guess. But it's okay. We'll make it work. So while I'm getting ready this morning, I figured I'd talk a little bit about self-care and how important it is to take care of yourself. I know uh, us as women, we are looked at as the the caretakers, the caregivers, and we have a habit of putting everybody else before ourselves, whether it be your family. You know, your family is a big priority. So I'm not telling you to not put your family first, but sometimes we put work before ourselves. We put just about everything before ourselves. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Linda. And... I kind of got caught up in that a little bit lately. And so I am actually taking some PTO, some paid time off this morning to just kind of recharge a little bit. I laid in bed, I watched the Good Morning America, had a cup of coffee, talked to a friend on the telephone. I didn't have my best day yesterday and um, you can probably tell by the way my face looks, how my face is very splotchy. I mean, it's splotchy to begin with, but this is like stress breakouts. And it was, a, it was, yesterday was a bit much. You have a great day, Laura. Have a good day at work. Be productive, but take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, please. So, um, yeah, I kind of had a little bit of a bad day. I've worked a lot of hours this week, and it's only Wednesday. And, um started to get to me a little bit last night where I couldn't even, you know, go to sleep at a decent hour. Hey, Karen, thanks for joining us talking about self care. And so I laid in bed. It was after 11 o'clock before I finally fell asleep. Now for me, that's really late. Um, because I get up so early in the morning and I had things I needed to process. Hey, Gretchen. So I laid in bed and I don't want to say I really like ruminated on it or worried. It was more just about processing my feelings about what was going on. Even this morning, I just, I laid in bed. My alarm went off at the normal time and I just, I wasn't yet emotionally prepared for the day. So I have the luxury of working. Oh, good, Karen. Good. <laughs> You're going to get a lot out of this then. Maybe you can, maybe you can, uh, communicate some of your self care tips for yourself. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, my alarm went off at the normal time and I laid there in bed and I just decided that I just wasn't, emotionally ready for the day yet and I worked enough overtime already between Monday and Tuesday that uh, you know I'm not going to be short on hours at work but 
I, I needed to take some time for myself, so so here I am. So I'm I'm all coffeeed up. I got my Good Morning America in. I just got out of the shower. I actually did something halfway decent with my hair today. It's still a little bit wet because I just got out of the shower. Um, did a mask. Talked with a friend on the phone, and I think I think I'm ready for the day now. So I'm just gonna get ready here. But this is part of my self-care routine, is not, not just doing my makeup, but I actually like to go live and talk to you guys. My hair looks good. <laughs> I, I enjoy doing that because it, it, for the lack of a better term, gets my head out of my own ass. And I'll actually talk and, and communicate and, and be open. And, and I, I like to do that. So I figured, good morning, Dana. We're talking about self-care today. I'm taking the morning for myself before I go into work. And I just poked myself in the eye. That probably wasn't the brightest idea. <laughs> hey, Andrea. And concealer is definitely needed today. May have put a little too much on. Let me take that off with my, my foundation brush. So I like to go live and I like to talk to you guys. And I'm, I'm caring for myself by making myself presentable. Not that without makeup I'm not presentable. Hey, Amelia. But I want to give myself the same attention that I, I give everything else in my life. My husband, my kids, his kids, work, friends. So this is my time. Hey, Christine. So I don't know if it's psyching myself up for my day or taking care of myself, whatever you want to call it. But this is, this is it. This is my time. I took extra time in the shower this morning. Thank you, honey, for leaving me some hot water. Although it was a long time ago since you got out of the shower. Water would have reheated by now. Um, made a second pot of coffee because I drank all the coffee already in the house. And uh, I need to have my coffee and my to-go mug before I leave for work because I like to have coffee on the train. Uh, can you see what I'm doing here? I'm just adding some uh, contouring here. Try to give my face a little bit of life, right? So what do you guys do for self-care? You tell me. What is most important for you when you, when you feel like you're, uh, you feel like you're, you're not at your best self? I, I also love to cook. I'm, I love to cook and um, bake, I mean, especially bread, just kneading bread, being with me. So my husband wins brownie points for that. <laughs> love to be in the kitchen. I love to experiment with new recipes. My husband with the brownie points. I downloaded an affirmation app and record them. Can you do me a favor and, and pop on the name of that app? Because that sounds really good. That sounds like something I might be interested in. Um, I will tell you also something that I have done for self-care. I used to be a podcast junkie, especially um, when it came to news. And I found that with all the negative news that has been happening lately, that it was, I was setting myself up for failure by listening to it and listening to all this negative stuff. Seven hours of sleep. Okay, so seven hours of sleep is something I definitely get. I like to be in bed by 9.30, 10 o'clock, because my first alarm goes off at 4.45. That's my husband's alarm. 
and that's just heaven forbid his alarm doesn't go off um, and I don't normally hit snooze so I am up and and awake at that time um, exercising yeah I need to I need to start doing that a little bit more I think um, that's that's yeah thanks for reminding me think up that's the name of the app I will definitely look into that that sounds like something I'm definitely going to be interested in excuse me while I step away for a second I am looking for and I can't find it oh here you are hey Andy Look, I'm going to do my eyebrows right now. I'm going to do it right in the camera right here because this seems to be the best light. I killed the overhead light. Yeah, less than six hours. I went too many years on like four or five hours of sleep. And that definitely affected my mood and my outlook for the day. That was... That was a little bit too much for me I think so now I make sure I go to bed nice and early and when you have a cuddly husband like I have hey Gary when you have a cuddly husband like I have it's not hard to crawl into bed with him even if we're not quite asleep yet and just watching TV he is he is a godsend Honey, I'm not kissing your butt. I'm telling the truth. You are a godsend. And and I definitely wasn't feeling my best self last night when I got home from work. I mean, I also had what should have been maybe a 50-minute commute. Ended up being a two-hour commute. I take the, the subway into Manhattan and back for work. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Jose. Hey, Anthony. God, I got a lot of people on tonight. Uh, tonight I'm usually on in the night so it's this is morning Jen it's morning remember it's morning oh honey I thank God for you every day too so so yeah so right now you're witnessing my self-care I'm talking to you I'm giving myself a pep talk I'm communicating I'm being open I'm being honest and I'm making up my face there's nothing wrong with that I have had mental health professionals tell me that this is probably the best thing that I could ever do for myself so thank you to those mental health professionals my $50 copays help out <laughs> when uh, when people uh, agree with with how I'm living my life so I'm just gonna do a, a very simple eye but I'm gonna do a bold lip I think can you see? God, it's so much easier if I just do this in the in the phone, I think. So sleep, exercise, obviously eating right, and not skipping meals, which I tend to do. I do get a lunch hour, and I am actually docked that hour for lunch. I don't have to punch in or out. And very rarely do I take that full hour for myself. Um, I'm usually with something handheld, edible in one hand and my other hand on the keyboard and I tend to work through lunch. Or I'll just take a half hour or something like that. Rarely do I take a full hour and I need to stop doing that. I really just, yeah, I need to stop doing that. I need to take time for myself. Where is... There it is. There it is. So eating right, exercising, plenty of sleep, obviously staying hydrated. Coffee doesn't count. The phone is a perfect mirror, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. I'm just doing a really simple look. I'm only going to do two colors here. If you're interested, yeah, what's a lunch break, honey? You're salaried, I know. If you're interested in the colors that I did, they're actually very similar to each other. It's uh, Nimble, which is this matte color which I used in my crease. And then I went to Slick, which is a very similar color to it, but it's shimmery. And I put that on my lid. And I think that's all I want to do. 
I don't want to do anything. I want to do, I want to do simple. So now I'm just going to blend it just a little bit. Get rid of those stark lines. Hey, Joe. Joe with the awesome, adorable dog. You guys go for a lot of walks together. I like watching that on Facebook. Your dog is adorable. What's your dog's name again? I forgot. A dog is so cute. Well, to me, all dogs are cute. Dogs are great therapy also. I tell my husband every day that I want a dog. Right, don't I, honey? Honey, I want a dog. I do want a dog. I had two dogs in my life. One, when I was growing up at a Dalmatian. It's actually a very funny story. Um, when I was 15, we adopted my Dalmatian, Abby, um, as a puppy. She was a 12-week-old puppy. And she lived to a nice age of 12 and a half, and I miss her so much. Um, but when I was married the first time, I rescued a, a Rottweiler. And I wasn't necessarily looking for the breed. I'm, I'm familiar with the breeds because my, um, my father, his wife, um, her daughters, they all had Rottweilers. So I know how loyal and awesome and loving they are with their families. So I was not afraid of that breed at all. But what drew me to her right away was that she had a spotted tongue and her name was Abby. So you wear, so I wear glasses also. This is how I normally look. And you're right, it, it, they, can, they can get lost. If you really want your eye look to show through with your glasses, and this is probably not the best example because these are transitions, and right away with this bright light, it starts to darken, go with a bolder eye. Um, go with bolder colors. Um, we have this, this great palette I'm gonna show you right here. Let me just grab it. You want to talk about some really nice colors. It's always going to be the last one I grab. Don't be afraid of these colors, Karen. This is our Addiction Shadow Palette 5. If you see these colors here, it's super pigmented, so you only need a little teeny tiny bit. They're all shimmery, but I have worn this in the daytime. I've gone with this color family together, and then on other days, I've worn this together. And it shows through the glasses without it looking like clown makeup, you know? Um, this is something I, I would probably suggest. Um, do you have the transitions lenses also like I do? Because that can certainly hinder it also. Um, where is my black liner? Here it is. That's That might be something you want to do, but... I, I have to do it this way. I wanted to go with a simple eye today. I'm more about the lips. Does that look all right? But you go with what you're comfortable with. And so you have the transitions like I do. They certainly help when it's bright out, when it's sunny, you don't have to worry about switching to sunglasses or getting, um, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, getting a, a, a second prescription for just sunglasses. Excuse me, I'm going to my bag here. I have a lip liner that I want to use today. This is our Perky. This is the lip liner that I'm going to use because I'm actually going to be going. Can you see this? That's the lip color I'm going to be going with today. This is our Splash Liquid Lipstick. Honey, my husband telling me how beautiful I am. Thank you, honey. I love you, too. I just, I can't talk while I line my lips, so bear with me a second here. If you hear the music in the background, Facebook, I don't own the rights to any of this music. Another part of my self-care is, is if I can't be in a spa and be pampered, I can at least listen to the music. And I like to listen to this music after I've had a stressful day at work and I'm on the subway. I have a, a paid for Spotify account where I can save all of this music. Hey, Debbie. And uh, the music calms me, you know? If I'm not getting a massage or a facial or, or anything like that, 
At least I can pretend I am and just listen to the music. It definitely helps me to fall asleep too. Do you guys have any hobbies or anything like that that you use for uh, to help with your self-care? Like I said, I, I cook and I bake. I also like to crochet and knit. That's a pretty bold lip, isn't it? But it'll work. Um, not that I'm trying to sell you guys on this at all. I, I will talk about it a little bit. But this Splash Liquid Lipstick that we have right here, this is a, a matte color, and it's... Let me put my glasses on so I can read it. It's called Spontaneous. And... Um, you saw how I put it on. So it's almost like a, a lip gloss, you know, with a wand. But it goes on like a lipstick and it dries like a lip stain and it won't transfer. Um, so I like to wear this when I know I'm going to be going into a day where I'm going to be drinking a lot of coffee or a lot of water or something like that to keep myself hydrated because I'm a little stressed like I am today. So this is a great buy. Um, I am actually working towards a sales goal right now and I have until tonight at midnight to hit it. So... You know what I can do really quick? I'm still here. I'm just going to go online really quick on my laptop here. I'm going to pin my... Hang on a second. I'm going to pin my website here. If you guys need any eyeliners, mascaras, you know you're supposed to be replacing your mascara every three months. I'm trying to hit a sales goal right now. So, any help would be appreciated. Let me just pin my, uh, my parties. Here we go. Almost there. That eyeshadow palette, uh, we have plenty of other ones that are great. Neutral colors, cool colors, fun colors. Every little bit helps. So let me go. Where is... I'm live right now. Waiting for it to th stop thinking for a second. Yeah, all you see is a blank thing there. No, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, so anyway, it's there. It's pinned. You guys, I, I didn't pin it, but you see there. There's the link to my site. So if you need a mascara, hey, Layla. Good morning, Ashley. Thanks for joining. All right, so anyway, it's there. Let me turn off my volume. Hang on a second. Yeah, now everybody can hear me in real time. I actually have to use my mirror for this. Hang on a second. I don't want to poke myself in the eye with my mascara. That wouldn't be too cool, would it? So I just went with a very simple look today. I'm feeling better. I'm glad I'm talking. You guys are great. All my loyal customers. New people. You guys are making me feel a lot better. And I really appreciate it. Gotta make that mascara face, right? I am wearing... <sighs> Hang on a second. I keep forgetting the name. It's one of the Splash Liquid lipsticks. 
Spontaneous. I'm wearing Spontaneous and I use Perky as a liner, which is a little bit too light for it, I think, but it's gonna work. It always works, right? Where is, I wanted to go back, where is my, where is that brush? I wanted to hit around the corner of my lips with the concealer just a little bit more. Did I drop the brush on the floor? I can't find it now, damn it. Oh, here it is, my concealer brush. Hey, Tom. Just a teeny tiny bit. I just hit around my lips, just on the bottom there. So, Ashley, I know you popped on late. We were talking about self-care and how I am actually had a pretty bad day at work yesterday. So I'm taking time for myself this morning. Hey, Ralph. There. Looks a lot neater. So I'm all done. I want to thank everybody for listening and for watching and for participating. This was uh, a big boost for me, for my mood to make me feel a little bit better. And I feel like I'm really prepared for the rest of the day to have a very productive day at work, have a smile on my face. Um, I didn't get to yet pin um, the link to my website, but it's in the comments there. So I'm working towards a sales goal right now and I have until midnight tonight. So if you need any eyeliners, mascaras, lipsticks, anything like that, just go ahead and click on that link. Um, thanks so much for joining. You can find me on Instagram and on YouTube at Look Great, Feel Confident. I do have a VIP group where I run special sales that I can't advertise here on my personal wall. Um, just do a search for Look Great, Feel Confident there and ask for the ad and I'll go ahead and add you in. And that's about it. Have a great Wednesday, everybody. Mwah. Bye.